Welcome back to the Java Lock. Now that we have Xiangling on the account and we hit AR30, I think we are fully prepared to take on the Geo Archon quest and ultimately fight Child. And now the Geo Archon quest does resume at the bank, which I think is a fitting place to tell you that. This video is sponsored by Opera GX, aka the most customizable web browser in existence. Let's talk about that. There's a feature called GX Profiles, which allows you to set up different profiles for different scenarios while browsing. To set one up, you simply just go to Browsing Settings, Manage GX profiles, create profile, and then customize it however you'd like. Thinking about streaming? Easy. Now you can set up a profile to hide all of your personal information. Computer slowing down? Worry not. Set up a potato mode so you can squeeze out as much performance as possible. In class and don't want distractions? I got you. We can keep the browser clean and focus on what you should be focusing on. Or if you're a devious little human, you can set up a rogue profile to automatically wipe your browsing data after closing the browser. And yes, I'm talking to you, you scallywag. Whenever you make a new profile, it will appear on the taskbar for streamlined usability. On top of that, you have endless other features like easily changeable color themes, dark mode, or looking directly at the sun mode, animated wallpapers, a hot tabs killer which automatically identifies the most resource intensive tabs and closes them so your potato, I mean PC, can keep chugging along. You even have the ability to force dark mode pages so you won't be blinded whenever you're just trying to search the web instead of going to sleep like you should have done hours ago. But that's barely scratching the surface of what this browser has to offer, though guess what? It's available for mobile as well. If you decide to download Opera GX, or more realistically, when you download it, let me know what your favorite feature is down in the comments. Make sure you use my link in the description as well because then you can see all of my new uploads directly from your homepage. If you can spend countless hours on character customization within games, then think about what you could do with this browser. So join us, join the dark side, and download Opera GX. Big thanks to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. I gotta be honest, I have done this specific quest three or four times now in total, and I do not remember this part whatsoever. How fitting that we're doing this during Child's rerun though. Never mind, I take back what I said, I do remember this part now. This is when the true fetching quest begins. This is when you get the jade, you get the perfume, you get all that great content. And just like I said, here we are for the jade heating up part of the quest. I know it's been a little while since the last episode of this Nuzlocke series, so I don't remember what I did between videos, but our world is level three and every character is ascended twice and almost fully leveled except for Amber because at the time I ran out of the books and I still don't have that many more. But since the world did level up, that means I have to go through and start farming for everyone again. So while I don't want to try it just yet, we probably could go ahead and climb another floor in the spiral abyss and get cola which by the way in the last video i think i said many times that we would be getting cola as soon as we beat floor four and i still saw lots of comments asking are you going to use cola yes i thought I made that obvious. And I am still looking for more white tassels because I would love to refine up Xiangling's. I did do some searching off camera and didn't find any more. They're kind of rare, it would seem. Now this is the high octane gameplay you all came to watch in a Nuzlocke. We get to speak to NPCs and make perfume. Oh, and how could I forget we have to go in Madame Ping's teapot? I guess I really just have repressed so much of these quests in my memory. And how could I forget about the bartering? I really just want to go ahead and fight child already. But of course, as you know, we have to go through all of this and there's no skip button yet. Doubt I have to remind all of you about that. No, oh, that's right. We have to head over to where the ballista is where we meet Kaching. And uh, yeah, that's where you fight off hordes of enemies that keep spawning and falling off the planet platform and then you have to chase them down then climb back up to fight off more of them and just rinse and repeat. You could tell I'm very fond of the entire Geo Archon quest. It's probably my least favorite of all the Archon quests. However, that's probably because I've done this one so many times and I know I've done Venti's just as many, but with Venti's you're still dealing with a brand new account so it's still kind of fun and fresh and you're getting new characters off banners. But when it comes to this one, you're just grinding AR levels to do fetching quests and then grinding more AR levels to do more fetching quests and thus begins the waves of enemies. Let's see if we can actually keep them all up here for once. Uh-oh. No, no, that's not where I was trying to aim that. Please die. 
Thank goodness. Oh, this one's gonna be hard. Okay, please don't go off the edge. Beautiful. Now they're about to go off the other edge. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Go back. Oh yeah, we still haven't seen this dude whatsoever since Sumeru came out. I honestly forgot that he even existed. All my homies hate Animo pinwheels. If you know, you know. And now we get to go for a round two of fighting off waves of enemies here. How lucky for us. Oh, I actually managed to beat them all without a single one falling off the side. It only took like four or five times of making new accounts and getting to this quest and doing it over and over to get to that point. Time for fetching quest number 847. I know we still need to run into Gandhi with Zhang Li picking flowers somewhere. Oh no, then we also have to go investigate the Fatoi for making the talisman. But other than that, I don't remember anything else. Well, Ning Wang, enjoy your jade chamber while you can because on this account, you are probably not getting it back. So the way we want to do this is to avoid fighting absolutely everyone. We just need to swoop in when this guy is not looking at us. Oh, he kind of just fell, which makes my job even easier. So this is all I remember from this Archon quest, which means we might be close to the end, hopefully. I really feel like we do no damage on this account anymore. We were doing okay damage, and then the world kind of leveled up, and that went away. Yeah, this is the end. Or, I guess, the beginning of the end? Because this sends you off to go fight Child, and then Child summons Osile, and then you have to fight Osile, and then it ends. But that's fine, at least it's not more fetching quests. I still feel like the thing that poses the biggest threat to us is gliding. If I accidentally hit the space bar or if I get sucked into a cutscene while I'm up in the air like this, we just lose a character. Now we're gonna play this as safe as possible because I don't want to lose anybody here, which means we will be bringing in Noel. You know I just realized that every starting character in this game, unless you choose Aether obviously, is female with the exception of Kaya. Like I've seen some people tell me, oh you should do a female only account, What? what's the point? That's literally just playing the game normally. Here we go. Do not get shot. I don't want to know how much damage it- Okay. Oh, that's actually not that much. Compared to when I fight this on my main account, that's nothing. Now, does he still have his one-shot attack on this difficulty? It's great that he doesn't do much to me, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't do much to him either. This is a battle of no damage, though I do still stand by what I've said in the past where he is one of the most annoying bosses for me because all he does is run away. Like, just come and fight me. Why, why do I have to chase you? Good. Yes. Keep stun locking him. See, like right here, you need to get rid of that or I think that attack one shots you unless it's only on the higher difficulty but I am not going to risk it if there's anyone who's on the fence about pulling for child right now I apologize because seeing him a bunch in this cutscene is probably making you want to pull for him now I can't relate to that for child specifically but I can for other characters and here comes phase number three okay let's see how tough this will be he's only level 47 but we're only level 50 so I mean we're pretty close though I do have a bar Brandon Noel, so good luck. Team is still at full HP and he's about 50% now. Good stuff. Oh, that's a whale. I wasn't paying attention. It's kind of funny how on lower difficulties, it feels like he does about nothing the entire fight. But if I go in on my main, on the highest difficulty, he's just okoing everyone. Let me just break the fourth wall real quick. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm just listening to lo-fi music in the background right now. So this is just a very chill fight for me. It's just a nice relaxing experience. Now we just play the waiting game. You basically just run around, slap some enemies for a very long time until they start buffing you, and then you one-shot every enemy. Okay, that did a bit of damage. There we go. Now we got Madam Ping's little buff. Or should I say big buff? Now we can two-shot most enemies. See, that's why they're not going to make Madam Ping a playable character. She'd be too busted. I take it back. This is the true waiting game. Nothing has spawned for about a minute and a half now. There we go. Let's go. Only about 10 seconds left. Hey, Ning Wong, I hate to do this to you again, but it's time to lose this. The Jade Chamber. I still personally don't think that the Jade Chamber would turn into a nuke if you dropped it on something. It's basically just a rock with a house on top. They must have some storerooms just absolutely packed with dynamite. Because, I mean, look at that. Look, you can't tell me that's just a rock with a house. Maybe instead of oxygen, they were just breathing propane in that place. Inexplainable explosions aside, now we get to wrap up the Geo Archon quest line. And look, Sin 
Senora is alive and well. And since she's alive and well, why not give her to us as a catalyst character on spells only? We are almost free. We're so close. Just need to talk to you and then it's all over. And there you have it. We survived the Geo Archon quest. Here's a fun little question. Do you think that we could push another floor in the Spiral Abyss right now? All the enemies are going to be the same exact level as our highest level characters or pretty much all of our characters. I feel like we could do it. And since this floor specializes in electro damage, I'm going to bring Lisa instead of Xiaoling. I don't know if it's still better to bring Xiaoling, but we're going to give it a shot. And if we are able to beat this, we get ourselves a Kole on the account, which would be really nice. Okay, so far, these enemies seem insanely weak, which I very much enjoy. Is floor five the one where you have to start using two teams? Because that's when this challenge is going to start to get a lot harder. Okay, three enemies left here, and it's only one Abyss Mage. So that's not too bad at all. All right, very nice. Oh boy, we have a monolith. Good thing is we could play it very safe. The not so good thing is I hate the monolith stages. Stop. No. Oh gosh, wait. If they hit the monolith anymore, it is done. Stop it. Hit me. Only hit me. And by done, I mean we won't get three stars. Okay, we're fine. It only went down to 65%. No need to worry. Final chamber and the final enemies of this floor. Double Abyss Mages. Easily my least favorite enemies in the entire game, but by the looks of it, we're not going to struggle too much against them. And just like that, we have beat floor number four. So this means we are exactly one half of the way through this challenge. And it also means we can go ahead and claim up our Kole. And there we go. We have every character that we can use on this account. And this means I'm going to have to take a little trip to Sumeru just so that I could level and ascend her. So if we want to level Kole whatsoever, we have a bit of distance to cover. And also on the topic of Kole, I don't know what bow is best for her. Obviously, we're only using three star and below, so I think the Raven bow might be the best option since it's EM. However, this bow is only refinement rank two, and I think think you get this one from Wishes, but I'm not sure. And if that's the case, we might as well try and get some more refinements for everything. So even though we won't be using any four or five star weapons that we get, I will very happily take any refinements for anything that we are using. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's not what you like to see on an account where you don't use four or five star weapons. Oh, I like all these raven bows. I think we got two. <laughs> don't give me that. That's not fair. Here I am just pulling for raven bows, which luckily we are getting, and then they give me a much better bow. Granted, I'm not the biggest fan of this because you have to spam the normal attack, charged attack, elemental skill, and burst, but I wish I could just transfer that over to my main. Either way, on we go for more refinements. I think we should be able to fully max out the raven bow at this point, and we'll do our very last 10 pull, and that's quite a lot of whatever this bow is. The slingshot, okay, good. Lots of slingshots. Very nice. Lots of refinement. Oh yeah, we're good. I'm not sure the refinement of this is going to be as useful on Kole, but you know, there's a chance it could be. And we can go ahead and max out Lisa's weapon as well. Anybody else that's already refined? This we need to hunt for. This we probably could get. Oh, beautiful. So now that is maxed out as well. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we, we got another character that we're not going to be using. And somehow we actually got two of him from the weapon banner. How did that happen? Amber, look what you could be using. But instead, you're using this. I am going to wait to use her for a little bit because I don't want to lose her right away. We need to somehow get over to Sumeru now. And I know the correct way is to go through the chasm and then you go through that underground tunnel, you come out in Sumeru by the statue, but I don't feel like doing that. We're going to try to avoid the chasm entirely and just get to Sumeru through the hills or mountains or whatever's there. Oh, wait, why are these enemies level 50? I don't like being the exact same level as all the enemies. Uh, we gotta be careful then. Okay, I can see Sumeru from here. Giant tree means we are getting close. And now there's the chasm that we have no interest in going to. Though I guess that statement also holds up for all of my accounts. I don't want to go there on any of them. All right, we've made it. Oh, they play this cutscene no matter which statue you unlock first. 
chest. I did not know that. I thought I was going to be able to skip that by coming to this statue. Oh, okay. Here's one. Here's number two. And there's number three. Also, at some point, we're going to have to go ahead and gather up all of the Geoculus and Liyue. I really don't want to do that again, but this stamina is killing me. With that, though, Kole can get us send it up. And she might take all of our books. No, not quite all of them. She leaves us with an entire three. But to ascend her again, we would have to take on the Jade Plume Terror Shroom. We could definitely go try and do that. I'm not opposed to trying to do that, but I think it's all the way over here. What I might do instead is just farm up these bosses. And apparently if I gather up some more slime, we can already ascend Jian Ling again. Or alternatively, we could just craft them instead. So there's Jian Ling, and there's Lumin. So the first boss of our mini little boss rush here is going to be the Electro Hypostasis. I noticed that a lot of our characters actually need the same sort of level up stuff. Like for instance, Amber and Jian Ling both need the Pyro Regis Vine, but then for Ascending, Lumin and Noel both need the Hillitrol Drops. Also, Lisa and Noel need the Valberries, and both Kole and Amber need the Arrowheads. So there's quite a lot of overlap. The good thing is, they're easy materials to get. Bad thing is, obviously, I have to spend them in two places, which means we run out a lot faster. We should be able to do this in one cycle as long as we use Jian Ling's burst here and Kaya as well. Could even use Kaya's burst if necessary, but I don't think it will be. Also, why is my Pyronado in the ground? Now, honestly, another good thing we can get from boss drops are the four star artifacts. I'm not saying this is a great one, but I mean, we could throw it on Barbara, I guess. Being on world level three kind of sucks. Half the time, enemies don't even drop anything. And from my current location, you probably already guessed it, but we're going to take on the Geo Hypostasis as well. We're probably going to have to take it down two more times to get everything for Noel, so I figured we will at least go ahead and do it once. Come on, you can do it. You can take it down. Or not. Can you stop making it rain rocks? It gets very annoying. Third boss on the list, Cryo Ridge is fine for Kaya. It is really sad how little damage we do. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. careful there. You wouldn't want to kill my Zhao Ling on me. Okay, this is actually more dangerous than I thought it would be. No offense to Barbara, but I really wish she wasn't our only healer. You just get frozen by any cryo attack and it gets very tiring very quickly oh wow okay terrible drops and just like that we're back at the dirt cube at least noel makes this fight so easy any good drops it's okay. No four-star artifact, but we did get two of the boss drops. And now let's see what we can craft up and who we can ascend. I believe we can now ascend Noel, and we should be able to ascend Kaya as well. So either in between episodes of this or just in the next one, we'll have to do Barbara, Lisa, Amber, and Cole. And then I'm also going to have to level them up, which you can clearly see I don't really have that option right now. So I'm also going to have to farm a bunch of the ley lines. Ooh. Ooh, game just gave us this. It's all from that embattle section of the book. I will happily put this on Kaya. And I believe if we go over to Noelle, we can also put this one on her. Oh, it rolled defense percent. The one time that I ever want defense percent. Or I should say the one time I'm actually excited to get defense percent. And a roll into defense? Oh, my bad luck is actually useful here. So if I level this up to plus 12 and we go check our defense, it is exactly exactly 1000. Not too bad. We could also ascend her weapon that gives her a lot more defense, obviously. Wait a second. Noelle has my highest defense, my second highest HP, and my highest attack. Good to know. Probably a good idea to just max out the feathers on every character to get that extra attack. I just don't know if I'm gonna have enough Mora or... Oh, I definitely won't have enough material for that. Oh, wait, there we go. Jian Ling now has my highest attack stat. I think that's a good place to leave it, though. This is probably a little bit shorter than most of my videos, but I am trying to do a lot of stuff right now. Hopefully it's not super short. I mean, I'm going to find out as soon as I go to edit this down. But with that being said, and as we're about to get rained on here, I will see all of you guys next time.